good evening, everyone. I'm Eva St. Julie, and here's what's coming up right now on Even News at Dine. In local news, Even News has received details regarding the newly purchased property on the side of Muir Elementary. We'll tell you what the property is planning to be used for and exciting news for parents. The first day of school for KN students is around the corner. We'll let you know those dates. And in state news, New Orleans has brought back its mask mandate. We'll tell you about that plus more coming up right now on the KDS News Outlet at 9. Live now from the Even News Studio in Mir, Louisiana, this is Even News Tonight with Even St. Julian. Good evening, Acadiana. You are watching Even News at 9 tonight. I'm Even St. Julian. It's good to be back. Our top story tonight, a board member at the Katy Parish School Board spoke with Even News about what the newly purchased property on the side of Mir Elementary on Mir Highway will be used for. Even St. Julian. Me reports. Many parents of students at Mir Elementary School in Mir who drop off their children using the school's pickup line have been speculating for months on what the new property on the side of the school will be used for. The Katy Parish School Board purchased a piece of property on Mir Highway, which is right on the side of the school's office, and many are wondering if this property would be used to create a better way to run the school's card line. I spoke with a school board member, and the member verified what the property will be used for. It is, in fact, going to be used as a new parking lot for the school's faculty and staff. But it will also be a way to incorporate a new card line. The member said it would be a basic horseshoe-style line on the property in which parents would still pick up and drop off their children at the gymnasium. The member stated that the main goal of this new line is to get as many cars off the road as possible to eliminate any future problems. For Even News Investigates, I'm Even St. Julian. The board member also stated that the school board is working with an engineering firm to execute the plan. A two-vehicle accident on Muir Highway near Heritage Road in Katy Parish killed two people Saturday night. 44-year-old Don Bauer Bernard of Cairn Crow and 53-year-old James Bellard of Church Point died in the crash. State troopers say the investigation revealed Bernard was traveling east on LA-1097 and a 2017 Honda Accord. As Bernard approached the intersection with LA-95, she failed to yield at a stop sign. The Honda entered the intersection and was struck by a northbound 2006 Ford F-350 driven by Bellard. After the collision, both vehicles came to rest off the roadway. Bellard was unrestrained at the time of the crash, suffered fatal injuries, and was pronounced dead at the scene. Bernard was transported to a hospital where she later died. In national news, the well-liked fast food franchise Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen has added chicken nuggets to its menu, and fried chicken fans are loving it. The franchise said that the nuggets will be bite-sized pieces of its already popular chicken sandwich. Popeye's announced the new release on social media, saying the nuggets will be at Popeye's restaurants, all Popeye's restaurants, that is, in the U.S., Canada, and Puerto Rico by July 27th. The bite-sized chickens are pieces of white meat chicken, which are seasoned just like the sandwich, marinated for at least 20 hours, hand-battered and bread, breaded in buttermilk, excuse me, and then slowly fried into a crispy, juicy bite. The nonprofit organization group Farm Following the capsizing of the Seacorp Power lift boat has officially ended their search efforts to find the missing crew members. On Sunday, Gulf Coast Humanitarian Efforts announced that the end of their involvement in the search for the missing crew members on the sequel of the Seacorp Power after months of work. Jerry says that as promised, families will receive all excess funds that were not used for their search mission. He says they will be paid in installments as money from fundraising efforts are still coming in. Dusan police officers were parked at Miss Mamie's Casino and observed a black motorcycle traveling north on Austria with no license plate. Officers got behind the motorcycle on the overpass and confirmed no license plate. Officers activated emergency lights, uh, emergency lights excuse me, when the motorcycle passed a semi-tractor trailer on the shoulder to get away from the officers. The motorcycle turned right onto Soldier Road and then left onto Richmond, heading north. Traffic was both minimal to none. Speeds were very low. Pursuit came to an end on Crater Road due to motorcycle mechanical issues. A juvenile suspect was taken into custody without incident. During the pursuit, aggravated flight was confirmed as the driver threw marijuana off his purse into the ditch, which was located by Officer Ethan Smith. The motorcycle was reported stolen by Lafayette Parish Sheriff's Office. The suspect was later transported to the office and interview was interviewed once his guardian got there and then later released. No contact was made with the owner of the vehicle. On July 17, 2021, at 11.53, the Rain Police Department responded to multiple shots at King City Grocery Store, located in the 200 block of West, J West Jeff Davis Avenue. Officers located Jonathan Dixon, 22 years old, of Rain, deceased from an apparent gunshot. 
Detectives later arrested Edward Dontrell Nixon, age 26, of Rain for his involvement in the murder of Jonathan Dixon. Nixon was arrested, was booked into the APU uh, Katy Perry Sheriff's Office jail. The investigation remains open and more arrests are imminent. On July 9, 2021, at 7.47 a.m., Rain officers responded to a 911 call from a local business regarding a robbery in progress. Officers learned a customer was pumping fuel when approached by a male, later identified as William Craig Albert, 43, of Houston, Texas, asking for $5. The customer told Albert he did not carry cash. Albert allegedly lifted his shirt to show a pistol to the customer while saying, you sure you don't have $5? In response, the customer gave Albert cash. When officers arrived, Albert fled in his vehicle. Officers pursued Albert to Scott, where he surrendered without additional incident. Officers located an airsoft replica, Smith & Wesson pistol. Albert is alleged to have thrown from the vehicle during the pursuit. Albert was booked as to the Katy Perry Sheriff's Office Jail for the first degree robbery and aggravated flight from an officer with a bond of $65,000 set by a commissioner. We'll be right back. Welcome back. The city of New Orleans announced an indoor mask advisory to, quote, slow the alarming spread of COVID-19, end quote. They also stated that everyone, regardless of their vaccination status, should wear a mask going around others who aren't in their particular household setting. And saying in the COVID-19 section, Oshner Lafayette General has changed their visitor store policy. For surgery patients, only two visitors will be allowed during the whole duration of the hospital stay. For inpatient units, only two visitors per patient allowed between 7 a.m. and 9 p.m and only one person will be allowed to stay overnight. For all the other details on their new change to the policy, you can head to our website, evennews.net. Detectives with the Katy Perry Sheriff's Office are attempting to identify a suspect involved in a passing a counterfeit cash out voucher, which occurred at the Black and Gold Casino in Doucan on June 16th, 2021. If you look at your screen right now, you can see the suspect. If you have any information on this contact, contact the Katy Perry's detectives at 788-8725. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Even News and back to school in Acadia is around the corner from many Acadiana parishes. Those dates are Acadia, August 17th, Evangeline, Ele August 11th, excuse me, Iberia, August 11th, Jeff Davis, August 13th, Lafayette, August 12th, St. Landry, August 18th, St. Martin, August 16th, St. Mary, August 6th, and Vermillion, August 11th. All of us here at Even News wish everyone a great back to school transition and I want to spend out a special good luck to my all my MES class of 2021 peeps including me who will be starting high school this year as well as many other school students. It's very nerve wracking but I know we'll be just fine. Uh, me and my squad which is like my close friends uh, Riley, Michaela, Anajay, Mark, Keegan, Drake, Grant and Madeline we meet up often so I'm happy we're staying in touch because I mean we've been together at MIR for so long so we it's not gonna be easy for us just to break apart like that. So. I want to thank everyone for joining me tonight. I tell you, it feels really good to be back with y'all this evening. As always, for continuous coverage, head to our newly updated website, evennews.net. I'm Evan St. Julian. I'll see y'all all next time. Good night.